Good afternoon guys, um, so this is a quick video I just want to put together because I've uh, had real good success on YouTube and Google and I wanted to share my success just so you guys know as well. I've bought this car four years ago with this airbag alarm. Always thought one day I'm going to get to the airbag, that's the problem. And we found two codes, um, pr uh, occupancy sensor failure and power failure for the occupancy, a 50 code and a 70 code. And this is a BMW X3 2005 2 litre diesel. Which it's referring to, it's referring to the occupancy sensor, the pad sensor, the mat sensor under this seat. When someone sits here, it knows that this bag is ready to deploy. If someone's not sitting here, this bag is not going to deploy. This pad is not just no one sitting here, this pad is having a complete failure. It's saying low voltage, so in other words, this pad is broken in some way. Now this job is very expensive, the part itself is quite expensive, but that is not the majority of the cost. The cost is you have to remove the seat, pull every, all the leather off the seat, get it right down to the foam, to the pad, change the pad, and rebuild your whole seat and reinstall your seat in your car. That is expensive. And to be honest with you, I just want this airbag to always be active. There's problems in the front passenger seat. You'll notice there is no occupancy code in the, in the, in the front driver's seat. In the front passenger seat, so we're in South Africa, so driver's on the right hand side. You've got a little module. There's a little module. Um, looks like this. So first of all, you've got a... Um, a little yellow and black converter up in front can't get to it because it's a little bit dark right now then you've got goes the one wire goes to this module which then eventually turns into a blue and a white wire and that blue and white wire goes up into the seat that is going to be your match sensor so with um, the help of YouTube and you've seen the code that's active on my uh, car at the moment what I want to do is I've taken the plug of the mat sensor, taking the plug of the mat sensor, cut it off. There's no point in keeping it on there because the sensor is broken. Um, I've put 1K or 100 ohm resistor. I've put a diode and 1N4001 diode. It's a, far, a 50 volt 1 amp diode. It's a really small diode and another 100 uh, ohm resistor. And I made sure that the diode. Um, the silver side of the diode is facing the blue wire and so blue wire to blue wire to blue wire so let's put this down for a second plug this guy in so no need to disconnect your battery and worry about airbags deploying just need to make sure your key is removed and yet your um, you don't have power so all we're going to do put part of the vehicle yeah turn off all the parking sensors oh, we can start the car if you want to and close the door and drop the handbrake and then I forget to close that door okay there's a door alarm it doesn't matter it's not an alarm but you would have noticed airbag alarm has gone off there's no need to reset it with a computer no need to worry about um, going to a, a software guy and for my particular car and maybe I'm lucky no need to have bypassed the seat belt sensor there is no sensor going to the seatbelt there is however a wire going to the the piston down there for the um the tightening of the seatbelt in the case of an accident but no actual seat belt um, sensor so you don't need to plug in your seatbelt every single time you want to drive for me for a 2005 bmw there was only two connections under the, under the seat the seat belt restraint system with the airbags and the mat sensor that's it so you make the mat sensor healthy and there we go, alarm has gone. I'm not getting any seatbelt alarms either.